imposing majestic indisputably megalithic an architectural mammoth cradled in the heart of Syria greatness has many meanings and one of them is a Hassan citadel in Syria Recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, this 12th century gem magnificently sits at 2300 feet above sea level. With its 16 feet thick walls, this citadel is impenetrable. In August of 2018, I journeyed to this Syrian treasure. The citadel was first inhabited by Kurdish troops garrisoned by the Murdisi dynasty, to later become known as the Citadel of Kurds. But in 1142, during the time of Crusades, the Khan of Tripoli, Raymond II, granted the citadel to the Knights Hospitallers, a Catholic military order that was charged with defending the Holy Land. The Crusaders' rule changed the name of the citadel to become known as Crac de l'Hôpital. At the turn of the 13th century, the Hospitallers effectively turned Crack into a concentric castle, a castle with two defensive walls separated by a moat. This magnificent castle would shelter the knights against many fierce attacks, including the attack of the famous Salah Din the Sultan of Egypt and Syria, who led the Muslim armies against the Crusaders. But in 1271, the Knights' fortunes evaporated, and they lost the castle to the Mamluk Sultan Babers, the fourth Sultan of Egypt and Syria. The Mamluks marked their own fingerprints through the carvings on the Al Husn's walls. The courtyard chapel was turned into a mosque. But the whole of the Knights, with its architectural brilliance, remained untouched. During the 19th century, the castle became known as Crac du Chevalier. Today, it is known as Al Husn Citadel in reference to the town of Husn, an Arabic word that means the fortress. Here, cultures crossed paths, armies fought, and battles were won and lost. While civilizations continue to rise and fall, and time continues to devour the mightiest of kingdoms, with its breathtaking views, Al Husn Citadel remains.